Hey Student Success, welcome to week 14, which means we are almost done with the semester already. I can't believe that it is almost summer and we are just starting to wrap everything up, which means of course, your student workshop assignment is coming due very soon. So if you have not attended a student workshop, a student leadership academy, a student event of some sort, you only have a couple more weeks to do so. And honestly, like this is really the last chance because May, I think there's one offering. The rest is all going on, you know, the end of April. So you want to make sure you register and then send me your certificate of attendance so that you can get credit for that assignment. If you have questions on it, there's a video right here that walks you through exactly how to register and where to go in my CERC state to get that information. Something else I want to draw your attention to is week one was already reopened for anyone who needed to make up work from week one. Week two is reopening this weekend. So if you, again, miss any work from early on in the semester or you enrolled late, week two is reopening this Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So please take advantage of that. Um, the video and the folder will both be open if you would like to go ahead and make up some of that work. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into week 14. If you have not already done so, please make sure you take a look at the chapter five lecture video, take a look at the chapter five slides, take a look at the chapter five text, do something with chapter five to make sure that you're comfortable with the concepts because then week 14, you have two assignments that are based off of what is talked about in chapter five. So you do not have a discussion form this week. So attendance is based on your completion of both assignments by Sunday. If you only complete one, you get 50% attendance. So just make sure that you are working on both of these assignments by Sunday for your weekly attendance. So let's jump in. Your first assignment is your chapter five assignment. You click here and it's gonna open up into a Word doc. Looks like this. This should look familiar because we have done assignments very similar to this in the past. This one is just really focused on reading. And so you have three areas of reading. Reading comprehension, which is just another way of saying understanding what you've read. Reading speed, and by speed that does not mean quick, it just means your pace. So slow, moderate, fast, and then vocabulary. So what are two things you can do to improve your understanding of what you read? What are two things you can do to improve your reading speed? And that again does not mean improve, does not mean faster. Improve could mean slow down because you might be reading too quickly, you're missing things. So improvement might mean slowing down your reading speed. So it just depends on that. And then vocabulary, two things you can do to improve or enhance vocabulary. If you're not sure what you can do, that's when I recommend you go back and you spend some time inside the chapter five the slides, the chapter five textbook link, or my chapter five lecture video. Once you know what two things you can do, when will you start doing those? Will you do that the next time that you are reading? Will you do that the next time you are in class? The next, so when will you expect to take that action? And how will you know your comprehension has improved? How will you know your reading speed is where it needs to be? How will you know your vocabulary has grown? Okay, so once you fill out all of those columns for each of those three areas of reading, just make sure you file, save it, and then go in here in your assignment folder and put it in the Dropbox there the upload file Dropbox. All right, the second assignment is kind of two points, two parts, and you'll see what I mean here. Um, so you're gonna first take this, it's a short service. So you're gonna click on this survey and it's gonna open up into this web page, And it's just a series of multiple choice questions and it talks about web, like online learning. So you're gonna answer all these questions. At the very bottom, you're gonna hit submit and it's gonna give you a score. I am not going to see that score, okay? That's the first part, but I'm not gonna see that score. What I'm going to see is when you click in here, right here it says after you take the survey, submit your feedback under write submission and comment whether you believe online learning is right for you and why. So under create submission, you're gonna create basically like, you know, my score was, and then you can tell me your score. I agree, disagree, because. So you're basically going to tell me what your score was. You need to do a score, perfect, you do a score, a 15, whatever. And then do you think that's right? Do, is online learning a good fit for you? Is it not such a good fit for you? Like, you know, basically just like a one or two sentence reflection on if you agree or disagree. Okay, so again, I will not see your actual survey results. That is why you are creating the submission right here and typing in your response. All right, so your two assignments, your chapter five assignment where you are filling out this table over reading. And then the other assignment is taking the online learning right for you survey and then answering this question here in the right submission area. Submit both of those by Sunday for your weekly attendance. And please make sure you take advantage of week two being reopened 
as well as getting that student workshop taken care of. Have a great week.